What's going on, everybody? Assalamu alaikum, Sayyid Ahmed, back again with another YouTube video. Uh, look, I'm sorry for the bad quality, guys. <laughs> I can't really do anything about it. Maybe... Oh, that hurts. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe I can do something about it. Hmm. It's kind of weird, guys. Is it weird for me to put a flashlight right here and record myself filming? Hmm, give me one second. Right, I'm back, guys. This isn't a lot better, but it's better than nothing. So, guys, um, today's video, guys, we're going to be going over why following your trading plan is so important. And I actually broke my trading plan today. I broke my trading rules, uh, which isn't common for me. Usually, <clears throat> I mean, you guys could have guessed this because I am a profitable day trader, but I tend to follow my trading plan very, very strictly. So it's kind of weird that I did break my trading plan. But let's go hop onto the charts and we'll go over this. And if you guys like this sort of content, guys, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. You know, you know the usual jazz. So let's wait for my screen to share. Cool. So these were three trades that I took. Well, no, sorry, I took two trades here on your USD and one trade, sorry, two trades on SPY, US 500, one trade on your USD. So this trade, your USD guys had lost. Okay, one short here, unfortunately ended up losing. You know, we swept London session highs. We inversed both of these failed value apps of this leg and we ended up losing. Um, Nothing crazy, nothing major. Just a normal loss. Okay, US 500 guys. We again swept the London session highs, which was here, and we ended up sweeping them. Oh, no, here. We ended up sweeping them. We inverse both these federal value gaps and we ended up winning. So you'll notice the same exact strategy, guys, that I took for your USD. I took for US 500 and I ended up winning on US 500, lost on your USD, right? So we sweep London session lows, which are around here, and we get a break of structure right over here. Okay, at this white line, you see we have a candle closure above this white line. So that indicates to me that, hey, you know, we swept lows, bullish market structure. We've just changed our market structure. We've shifted market structure to bullish, right, from bearish. Chances are we're going to go higher. I, this fair value gap was formed, and I took a trade off this. Now we stop. Uh, now we get stopped out. Now, this third trade, uh, sorry, this fourth trade would have been the one that I should have took, but I didn't. And this is where I broke my trading list. For the day at this point in time, I've took three trades, lost to one one. Last trade I took a lost. So I'm down one percent for the trade. Now, the whole thing is is that we also not only did we see London session lows, but we also swept midnight lows. So when we swept midnight lows, I'm looking for price to revert to make an in uh, fair value gap and then inverse that fair value gap to take a trade from four one to one. Very similar to this thing, except set to the downside to the upside. And guess what ends up happening? We have that. And guess what ends up happening? We make the fair value gap. We inverse the fair value gap. We have a candle closure above. And, you know, it's within our session, right? I'm going to trade until 12 p.m. This was 11.20. I should have took this trade. But I was scared. I did. I broke my trading rules, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And this is why it's so important for you to check and follow your trading plan. And follow your trading rules. Because if I took this trade and I followed my trading plan... I would have made 1% and I would have been break even for the day. Now, guys, I want you to be very clear about this. I'm This isn't a coulda, shoulda, woulda trade. This is a trade that is in my trading rules, in my trading plan that I have to be taking. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This isn't something like, oh, I take this trade and, oh, I could have held it to here and made a 1 to 3. No. It's nothing like that, guys. This trade is a trade that I should be taking. Again, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I did. I broke my trading rules by not taking this trade. And I ended up paying the price for it because I could have been break even for the day, but now I end up the day down 1%. When I could have been took this trade, made money on this trade and be up 1%. You have to understand, guys, I'm not pissed about the fact that I'm down 1%. I'm not mad about that. I'm mad at the fact that I broke my rules. I'm mad at the fact that I didn't follow my rules. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Right? Why did I not follow my rules? Well, it's because I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. I'm fearful. This new strategy, I really like the strategy, guys. It's not my full-time strategy yet. And I'm going to make a whole strategy video depicting this when it becomes my full-time strategy, if it does. But this strategy, right, I'm trading a little bit longer. I'm still trading New York session, trading a little bit longer on a little bit of a higher time frame. We're on the five minute now, still on a day trading sphere. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes you might take a little bit more trades. I usually used to take one to two trades a day. This strategy, I'm taking like two trades. It's like, it's pretty common. Two trades is pretty common. So sometimes you're up to three, 
sometimes even four trades. Yesterday, I took three trades. That makes me a little bit nervous. I'm trading a little bit more. Like in terms of the hours I'm actually trading, and I'm taking a little bit more trades. It makes me a little bit nervous. And when I took that fourth trade, it does make you a little bit nervous because I, again, for like the past year and a half, I probably two and a half years now, I only took two trades a day. And now I'm inversing, not inversing, um, I'm breaking that rule by taking a little bit more. Now, again, breaking that rule is not that big of a deal because I'm a professional experienced day trader. Correct, guys? Like, I know what I'm doing. I wouldn't recommend you guys to do it but I know what I'm doing. This is one of the times that I'll say, do as I say, not as I do. I have years of experience in the market, guys. I can do it. You guys cannot. That's why I was successful taking three trades yesterday and I was successfully taking three trades a day. However, because of a lot of external factors, I got nervous, I got fearful, and I didn't take the trade. And I should have. And that's on me. That's a mistake I made because I was fearful. Why was I fearful? Trading a little bit longer. Why was I fearful? The markets weren't moving. That's why I was fearful. For the last hour and a half, price had just consolidated before stopping me out. And now I was going to take a trade in the same exact direction. That makes me kind of stressed. All right now, it shouldn't. I should be following my trading plan no matter what. But I'm just being completely honest with you guys because I think you guys deserve that. I have to be transparent to you guys. And you know what's even more crazy about this, guys? Is that in the Discord, I alerted people. I told people like, hey, this is going to be another entry if we... If we form this bearish fair value gap, if we inverse the fair value gap, it's another entry. And I alerted people when it closed above. And I said like, hey, you can, if it closed above the fair value gap now, you can enter if you want. And at that second, I was literally about to plus buy. And I was like, no, I'm not going to. I was this close to following my trading plan and I didn't, and I paid the price. It's so important to follow your trading plan, guys, because your trading plan is the plan that's going to make you money over the long run, Okay. The closer you follow the trading plan, the more your success is guaranteed in day trading, period. Period. I'm not mad about not taking one trade, guys. I'm not mad about being down 1%. Guys, 1%, I'll make that back. It's not that big of a deal. I'm mad about the fact that I didn't follow my trading plan. That's what I'm mad about. Because that means that I did something that's going to guarantee that I won't make money over the long run. And that is bad because as traders, we're not trading to trade. We're trading to make money. Following your trading plan is important because it's going to be the guarantee that you have that over the next hundred trades, you will make money no matter what, no if, ands, or buts about it. And I broke that. And it's bad to break it, but here's, you know, this is why I'm making this video, guys. It's not just for me. It's not just for you guys. It's for everybody. It's so that I can look back on this video. It's so that the members of the discord can look back on this video which is completely for free, by the way, down below. It's so that you, when you when you break your trading plan, you can come back to this video and be like, okay, this guy has been trading for over, almost four years now. He sometimes breaks his trading plan. He knows it's wrong. He knows he has to stay consistent and follow his trading plan. I'm going to follow the trading plan as well. I'm going to follow my trading plan as well. It's to be transparent and honest with you guys. This is going to happen. This isn't something that's just, that's something that just me and you face. Every day trader faces it. Even if you've been trading for 10 years, for 15 years, no matter how consistent you are, you, are, you will face it. I was consistently following my trading plan, not breaking a single rule for three months in a row. Actually, four months, four months in a row. I hadn't broke a single rule for four months in a row. Guys. Think about that consistently. Think about that discipline. And now I broke it. It's okay. It happens. Mistakes happen. The guys were only human. But you have to learn from this and I'm going to learn from this. And next week I'm going to come back and I'm going to be trading and I'm going to be a better day trader. I'm going to become a stronger day trader because of this. I'm going to learn from this lesson. I'm going to be telling myself every single time that I don't want to take a trade, but I should. Every single time that I'm thinking about breaking my trading rules, but I should, but, but I shouldn't be, right? I'm going, to remember, I'm going to remember this moment. I'm going to say like, hey, remember that day on Friday when you should have took that trade and you didn't. And you would have ended up at breaking and you would have hit take profit, but you broke your trading plan and you didn't. That's why you lost out on money. Don't lose out on money. Follow your trading plan. Again, guys, like I said before, I don't care that I hit. I don't care that I ended off the day at 1%. You'll notice, guys, that I took two losses for today. Two losses. And I'm not mentioning those because those losses were a part of my trading plan. I followed my trading plan taking those trades. I'm happy I took those trades. Isn't that crazy, guys? I'm happy that I lost money. But I followed my trading plan. 
those were good trades. Every trade that I took today was a good trade. But the one trade that I didn't take was also a good trade. And I should have took that. Do not, do not misunderstand this video, guys. Do not misunderstand this video. I'm not mad that I didn't make a profit. I'm mad that I didn't follow my trading plan. If I took that trade, the last trade, the fourth trade, if I took that trade and I lost that trade, I would have still been happy with today's results. I would have been down 2% and I would have been like, okay, you know what? I followed my trading plan. I'm good. I'm fine. I did it. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Follow your trading plan. That's going to make you money. Your trading plan is there for a reason. It's because you've back-tested hundreds of points of data over the course of years of data. You've forward-tested hundreds of points of data. You've scaled up your live account. You've been trading for months now with this strategy and with these rules and with this plan, and you've been making money. And in the past, it's made money, and you've made money right now, and probably in the near future, it's going to make money as well. That's why your trading plan is a thing. So follow your trading plan so you can make money. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you like this video. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Discord for free. Brokers recommend everything down below for free, guys. My socials as well, follow them. With that being said, guys, assalamu alaikum, Allah